They can demolish a mouldy potato in just 20 minutes. So could these insects help solve one of our biggest global problems, food waste? This is the larvae of the black soldier fly, maggots to you and me, and they have one incredible skill, they can eat. In fact, their body weight increases 5,000 times in just two weeks. By eating some of the food that we throw away, these maggots become highly nutritional food themselves. We actually see it as almost solving two problems or connecting the line between two problems. So the first problem is food waste. Uh, we obviously waste a huge amount of food waste each year globally, but simultaneously we need to produce more food to feed the world's growing population. So animal feed is actually a really critical issue as well for the farmed salmon and for the poultry industry. So the insects are actually a nice solution that connects two of these problems and creates a more sustainable feed source. This is where the maggots could end up as a meal for Scottish farmed salmon, replacing their current diet of fish shipped over from South America. But they're not just using maggots to eat old food. In the lab, company scientists are trying fermenting techniques, like you'd use to make yogurt, soy sauce or wine. But they're trying to turn the insects into animal health food. It's equivalent to us humans going out there and having, you know, probiotic supplements and health drinks and all sorts of weird and wonderful things that don't just address our need for nutrients, but help us be healthier. And that's something we haven't really done for animals to date. Right now, their focus is on animal feed, but one day we might all be tucking in. Really, there's nothing stopping you from developing a formulation for pigs, for poultry, for dogs, cats potentially even humans in the future, um, although I'm going to stay away from that one at present <laughs> because it's plenty hard making someone eat insects. So if I'm trying to tell you insect yogurt, I think, <laughs> I think that's going to be a challenge. <laughs> I don't know why he'd think that. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.